वेलकम बैक इफ यू हैड द वर्ल्ड मोस्ट एक्सपेंसिव पेट्रोल रन फरारी कार वुड यू पुट डीजल इंस्टेड ऑफ पेट्रोल नो राइट वाई नॉट बिकॉज इट्स इंजन विल गेट स्पॉइल एंड वॉट वुड यू कॉल समबडी हु डज दैट प्लेन स्टूपेड राइट बट इट मे बी दैट वी आर मेकिंग दैट सेम मिस्टेक एवरी सिंगल डे we have a machine which is far more valuable and sophisticated than any ferrari car and we don't give them the fuel that it deserves as a result its efficacy goes down today i am only going to talk about one aspect of our body our immune system and explain that to you in a simple layman language i am not going to explain it like a biology professor but like a hollywood movie Our objective is not to make you a scholar but to help you understand the power of our body. Our immune system is like an army whose job is to prevent our body from any dangerous attacks like virus attack. And this army is a multi-layered army with different roles and different weaponries. There are four different types of army and each one with multiple specialized subunits. First army is called mechanical barriers which includes two subunits skin and mucus the first line of defense against any parasite is our skin which consists of multiple layers and prevents any virus or bacteria from entering our body then our second line of defense comes in the skin mucus mucus covers up the inner lining in our body and is a gel like substance and is our body's first line of defense against viruses if the army is strong enough to avoid mechanical barriers then a second army unit called chemical barriers come into picture which consists of gastric juices of the body cetacle and lysozyme these units contain powerful chemical weapons with the capability to defeat any army some viruses escape a second army unit as well then our next line of more sophisticated army comes into the picture it's called induced response and consists of part of our white blood cells called phagocytes which in turn consists of macrophages and neutrophils amongst others these are super powerful trained units with unbelievable powers and how many wbc do we have in our body around 50 billion seven times more than the world's population we owe our existence to this armies in our bodies when did you last clap for them or said thank you to them for working thanklessly for us can we say a small thank you to them now to show our gratitude thank you now virus escapes this induced response army as well but our body does not give up it has layers after layers of army ready to protect us and each one more powerful than others then a microbiome comes into picture take a guess how many bacteria live in our body 1000 1 lakh 1 crore or 100 crores answer is 100 trillion bacteria yes 14000 times bigger than our world's population In fact we have so many bacteria in our body that it wouldn't be wrong to say that we stay in a cloud of bacteria. We might believe each human being is one but we are not. Each human being is an universe by itself with trillions of living creatures. This bacteria compete with external pathogens and are an important part of our immune system. Is it easy for any virus to escape such a huge army? <laughs> not easy at all. But if you don't take care of these armies, don't give them the right fuel and ammunition, then they become weak. We in fact kill this army by overdosing on antibiotics too frequently. Our too much dependence on antibiotics is making our immune system weaker and more susceptible to virus attacks. Think twice next time before going on an antibiotic course. Each pathogen may escape all these armies. and our body does not give up then it comes up with a special force called adaptive immunity these are even more powerful and trainable armies they learn from experience to fight any specific pathogen let's take a short interval and learn more about them in the next video but please don't have super buttered popcorn in the interval 
See you.